गुरु कृपाल मेरे घर आना गुरु कृपाल मेरे घर आना टुडे सब्जेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डोंट हर्ट एनीबॉडी We hurt other by the other, other by three means. Three means. One in mind. We think evil of others. Mm-hmm. In mind, we think evil of others. We scheme to bring about any thing wrong to the others. This is one thing. Thoughts are very potent. Mm-hmm. When you think evil of anybody else, that reacts there like a telegraphic, telegraphy way. You see, so by radiation that affects others. You may not be telling anybody anything. You you think of other the radiation is there. Once Akbar the Great, the Emperor of India, was told by his minister Birbal. He said, "When thoughts are very potent, we should not. We should be very careful about them." He said, "How do you say thoughts are? It's all right. I'll give you a concrete example. Let us go outside. The both of them went outside, and one man coming say at a distance about two furlongs. So Birbal, the minister, told the king, 'Look here, just think something about it in your mind.'" And when he comes near to you, you might ask him what thought has crossed his mind. Then, only by looking and thinking, the thought in the mind way he should be sharp. That's only thought way. When man that that man approached him, then King asked him, "Well, you <coughs> pardon for anything that has struck your mind. You just tell me when you saw my face, what did it strike in your mind?" He said, "Emperor, excuse me. I thought I should beat you with my fist and break your head." So the thoughts are very potent. That if you think evil of others, naturally radiates there. The other man reacts. That's one thing. Then, through your words, you speak evil and you you tell, call in names to others. You are. You are fool. You are such a top line like that. So many things. You are blind. Such carry more weight, still more weight. So if you somebody you say somebody tells you something, what you should do? Then stand up. Reacting in the same way, what he say, he calls your name. You also begin to call like that. Then what the result? The that will clear up. More trouble. One will call you once, then will call you twice, and goes on that results in fight, just hurting physically somebody. This is by words. The third is by your physical body. The very root is the thought. Man speaks out of the abundance of one's heart. You see, whatever is lying there, those words, those things take the form of words. And when that grows still further, fear sir, then fighting. So don't hurt the feelings of others in thought, <laughs> words, and deed. In even you see, very religious places also they are say. A dozen of men are working there. They are just. There may be some difference. They are talking, thinking evil of others, and they are speaking to other people. Such and such, such and such. The result is thoughts radiate. The reaction of the mind. That is the mind's own problem. So you consider that you are told only one man like that He is your friend. He has also got other friends. You see. That goes round again to the man about whom you are thinking good or evil. You follow me, sir? 
us. So heart is the throne of God. Body is the temple of God. If you just defy the throne, and with the God has to be enthroned, then who will sit there? So for that, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Purity mainly lies in not thinking evil of others. The world, the thought and the deed. There are other factors too, but this is the main factor. About more than 50 percent. When I use it, even in Asham, for everywhere, one man is thinking about the other, he's telling somebody else, that goes round like a, a man who has got that nature, that is just like a plague infection. <laughs> the rat infected by plague goes round and spreads that very infection every round. So there is the thing. Very strict condition. Don't be the unpaid apprentices of God, CID of God. <laughs> if there's any, I think, bad thing somebody else, you might reserve it to yourself and go and privately tell him to improve. Suppose he does not improve. Then go to his boss. Leave it to him. Don't take the law in your own hands. On the other way, you see, if you think good of others, you radiate good. You see, you purify your mind, you purify others' mind. So, by thinking even of others, we spoil our own temples of God. First, defile. Outward, we are all right, quite clean, but our hearts are in are defiled by evil thoughts of thinking evil of others. We are all parts of the same machinery. If even one part is out of order, all machinery won't go on. So that is why we want to reform us, not of others, but of themselves. Charity begins at home. You see, we should reform ourselves first. An example is better than Peter. So this is today's subject. Don't think evil of others. In word, deed and mind. Always, if you think of anybody else, good even, then take it why. Why do you want to improve others? Because they are your brothers and sisters in God. God is that in every heart. Body is the temple of God. So don't, first we defile our temples, you see. Then we defile others. So instead we should think peace we into all the world of God. Under thy will of God. This is what Guru Nanak gave out in this prayer. Peace be into all the world, let all the world be happy. How can they be happy if you defile everybody's mind? The foremost thing is not to think evil of others, speak evil of others, and hear evil. If you come to know something, then it is for you to just Keep it to your own self to try to privately tell other body, well, this is you, you thank you. So, even then, if he doesn't, he doesn't tell to his senior man, that's all. I'll leave it to God or to me. So we should not become, we become reformers of each other. We should reform ourselves first. If you want anything for others, we should go on and tell him privately, my dear. Then the other body will care to listen to. But if oh, you are like that, you are like that, who is going to? Even if blind man is there, you say, oh, blind man, you take it to heart. If you think this is a well, dear friend, 
when you did you lose sight? Purpose is saved, you see, then there are ways and ways to express things. Hmm? So, so speaking, you might say, is an art. The same words you carry, very loving effect, you see, peaceful effect, the same words you flare a fire. So this is what we have to very God, we have to guard against that thing. So we should not think evil of us at heart, even in mind, world and thing. These are things some subjects come up, you see. And for these, you see, God is not difficult to meet, but it is difficult to be a man, you see. Man is in life. God is seeking after some man who is a man. So when we are ready, yes, God will come and give you permission to. I went to London, I remember. Yeah, on my first tour, there are two children, you see, about seven, eight years, nine years. I asked them, what do you, what do you want? They have given initiation for hearing. We want to become master, so they said. All right, you have been put on the way, improve, go on progress on the way, you might be selected as a master. <laughs> God is after finding out some man who is man. So that the work may go on. It is not for us to claim that thing, but it is for God to select we do. We fit for the job. So anchoring are only propaganda. Doing propaganda for having that position. This is not in man, right? It is a commission from God. So I told him, well, you may become a master, that's all right. You have been put on the way. Go on with it, you might be selected as a man. So, each one has to become after, come to perfection. You see, it is no sin. Every saint has its past and every sin in future. So, this thing starts where? From our own selves. First of all, not to think of you. Is there evil in your mind out of the abundance of thought and then speak that radiates even by thought, by word, and if come to steam then blows. So in the teaching of the master, the first and foremost thing is that. Just let us now examine our own self how we stand. Where we stand. If all these things are there, how can we aspire to become master of The purity of mind is the first thing. Let, let it not be defined by the most evil thoughts. So, so you pandit ki liye chizhe nahi samina hai no karo jiv ko bas. If you hurt anybody, all right. Pray for forgiveness, when our dear friend I have hurt you in my please excuse, that's to forgive and forget. Generally we don't forget. We simply say, all right, no, we don't mind, but that poison goes on there. That effect, sooner or later. So when you, anybody is hurt your feelings, in world, in this, forgive. Forgiveness is the only sweet water that you wash away all dirt. Justice won't do it, mind that. If you want justice, then justice will react. Forgiveness only washes away all dirt. Forgive and forget. This is the way to spirituality. All right. तो आप भाई ने सुन लिया आज का सब कि दिन में किसी का बुरा चीज कोई करता करने दो तुम वंस इट सो हैपन सम मैन वेन टू लॉर्ड मुद्दा ही बिगैन टू कॉल नेम्स लाइक एनी थिंग 
He went down like anything. He took one, two, three hours. It got, it got dark in the night. When he saw it's darkness, then he liked to go away. Then Lord Buddha went, dear friend, just tell me one thing. Say, what? If anybody brings some presents for somebody, and if he does not accept it, with whom that is left? He said, who brings that present that you take? Well, dear friend, the present, present you have brought, I don't accept. <laughs> so these are the things to be questioned as well. And live up to If you live up to your whole form, your heart, your eyes, your bearing, your radiation will change. It is no matter of acting, acting or posing, you see. No. It is a matter of living. Those who live, Master says, those who live up to what I say, I am their servant. They are my bosses. I will serve them to the bus people. Naturally, any son who would be just obedient to his father and do all things what he wants to do, naturally he is most dear to his father. Not mere by outward assent or acting or posing, you see. Because the mind radiates. And the master knows the mind, not the outward thing. So it's a way, Bhasami Dai Osamai, Dil Kosav. Dil Kosavai is used to come over. Gura ho ya dhade bandhiyo, dhona eti bandhiyo, eti dhada dhusha ka gura, aur kya? Mantar ke nina ho. Then dekho, body all eyes glued ho jai. Thoda bat ho, jyada bajan ho jai. Dhusha lab lalit, then tau. एक चीज जो पानी होती ना आदमी अपद्र करता तो ये है चीज है इसको समझना है समझना समझ आ गई ये तो आई गई ना एनी बॉडी कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट वी हैव टू लिव अप टू इट दैट्स इट मेन मी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉन्ट टू यू वन आई थिंक आर नॉट एक्सप्लेन राइट एज यू टॉक एक्सेट्रा टॉक दैट यू आर गिविंग बीन गिवन दी वर्ट्स Keep it up, sir. Keep your mind on the right.